hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.63 and the statement it has is according to consumer digest july and august 1996 the probable location of person computers in the home is as follows okay so these are basically some probable locations in a home and uh, the probability of the availability of the pc in adult bedrooms is 0.03 in child bedroom it is 0.15 and in other bedrooms it is 0.14 okay, so these are for the bedrooms for the office or den this is 0.40 and for the other rooms this is 0.28 okay so what do we have to find in part a we have to find the probability that pc in a bedroom okay so now let me solve it this is the solution and what do i have to do i have to find this is part a and in part a i have to find the probability that a pc in a in the bedroom okay so we have to find this one so in order to find the pc in a bedroom we have here one two three options for the bedroom and let me call this one as the probability of the availability of pc in adult bedroom okay this is in child bedroom and this is what in others bedroom okay so these are for the bedroom and here we have these probabilities and what do i have to do i have to find the probability that the pc would be in adult's bedroom or in child's bedroom or in others bedroom Okay. so here the formula for it will remain the same but here you have to keep in your mind that in these formulas what will happen here here in any situation a intersection c will be zero probability of c intersection others office is others bedroom is zero and probability that others and adults is also zero why is it because a single pc cannot be simultaneously at the two locations it will either be in one location or the in the other location but it cannot be available in the both locations simultaneously okay so that's why i am taking all these values equal to zero so let me use them as well so this is what we have so uh, if i have this so what do i have to do i ha can very easily see that it will be the probability that it is in adults room plus the probability that it is in child room plus the probability that in other rooms or i have previously shown you guys that this probability of a is p a plus p subscript c plus p p subscript o okay so putting their values what i will get i will get here 0 0.03 plus 0 0.15 plus 0. Point, okay so adding them what i will get here adding them i will get 0 0.15 0 0.14 that is 0 0.29 and 0 0.03 that would be 0 0.32 okay so that is the answer of part uh, similarly what is the probability that it is not in a bedroom so how to find it out let me write here this b so the probability that it is not in a bedroom is equal to 1 minus the probability that pc in the bedroom okay so that's it we have this formula now do i know the value of it yes i have previously found it out in part a so let me put it here and i will get here 1 minus 0 0.32 and ultimately i will get what it would be 0 0.68 that is basically the solution of part b okay? uh, similarly for part c we have to sub a household is selected at random from the households with a pc okay in what room would you expect to find a pc okay so we have a, the overall data which is basically in given in the form of this table and these are all the probabilities of the availability of a pc in certain rooms 
so if i have to pick a house at random from the different houses having a pc so uh, i can expect here that the higher probability of the availability of pc here is 0 0.40 and that is in the office or den okay so it is highly probable that i will find that pc in the office or in den okay so that is basically the solution of what this is basically the solution of part c okay so uh, that's it for today in which i have studied the applications of the data that how to find out the availability of different items in different rooms so i hope you have understood the underlying concepts see you soon